Today we're going to have a look at APTX Bluetooth, which is the latest addition to Cord's technology arsenal. Now, the Cord QBD76, which is this device in front of us here, has had APTX Bluetooth for quite some time. Cord have also added two new DACs to the range that contain APTX technology. This is the Peach and the APTX Gem. Now, APTX offers better, more flexible connection to any Cord device uh, and basically the devices are fully automatic so they are much more easy to use. Um, we're going to transmit to this little aerial on our QBD76 um, as I say via APTX Bluetooth but the principles are exactly the same when using the Peach or the Gen. So these are the devices that we're going to connect today. We've got a standard iPod and we've also got a Samsung laptop. These are the dongles, this is the USB Sennheiser dongle and we also have the uh, Sennheiser Apple dongle, which does exactly the same thing. Both are fully automatic. So we're going to pop our dongle into the USB socket. Initially, the light on the top of the dongle will start to flash very quickly to indicate that it's searching for a matching pin code. Once it finds that matching pin code, it will set up all of the software on the PC automatically. It will also pair with the QBD. Being open architecture, we can use absolutely any software we desire. Today we're going to have a look at uh, Media Center. Equally, you could use iTunes, or if you like streaming internet radio, you could use things like Spotify, Last FM, and all of the other thousands of different applications you can use for internet radio or playing music these days. Pretty straightforward there. Again, to disconnect, Cord have taken careful uh, attention to making sure that there's no pops, cracks, bangs, whistles when you disconnect these dongles without actually shutting anything down. So if we move across now to the iPod, again, all we do is insert the dongle into the bottom of the iPod. The pairing process is fully automatic, so the light again will start to flash very quickly and then slow down as it finds the relevant pairing process, uh, pairing code, and uh, initialises the uh, DAC to see the signal. Now we're paired, hit play. Crank up the volume a little. So it is as simple as that. All of the pairing processes that we're looking at here apply the same if you use an analog dongle. Finally, if we disconnect, no pops, no bangs, no whistles. Simple as that. So APTX, a great addition to cord software.